everybody, this is Soundwaves TV, and this is another mass debate, and I promise you there will be no arrest, but we are going to have a good time. I think I already used that line. But anyway. <laughs> it's going to get messy. It is. It is. <laughs> On our esteemed panel, we have Mr. Joe Hawk. Whee! Mr. Stephen Kirk, who's drinking a beer, a Soundwaves beer, by the way. Yeah. Nice. Who Tasty. expected that? Yeah. Morris yeah. Knight. What's that? Name? Baby Huey. You know what? You know what all these guys have in common? They're all music fans. They're all radio guys, but they all love the discovery of brand new bands. Am I wrong? No, you are yeah. not wrong. Okay, all right. So you hear a banger. You hear a song that you're just like, holy crap, what is that? That is the newest, freshest, fucking most amazing thing. I got to find out about that band. And then you find out it's not a real band. It was created entirely in AI. Mm. How do you feel about that band now, Joe Hawk? You know, I, I got mixed opinions about AI. I know there is the huge scare of, you know, original human musicians and artists losing their job. Uh, but you know, sometimes I, I find it kind of entertaining because right now the stuff that I've been kind of discovering is a lot of people have been taking original songs and replacing the vocalist with cartoon characters. Ah, yes. So I just heard actually an original song being sung by Plankton of SpongeBob <laughs> and <laughs> my teenagers and yeah, all that yeah, too. Yeah. It sounded, <laughs> he completely, it actually that. sounded pretty <laughs> badass. Plankton's now, pretty badass. on, on the more comedic <laughs> side, you know, We've heard, I've heard Cartman sing, uh, oh, Stairway to Heaven. Oh, man. Which, <laughs> which is filler. hilarious. That was okay. And I think also like SpongeBob singing like some heavy metal or something like that. Uh, but I, you know. But that's it, not what we're talking about. We're I not know. talking about parody. Yeah, we're, we're not talking, talking about, about parody. Sorry, think, Millie Vanilli in the 21st yeah. century. <laughs> <laughs> but not quite. You know what? I think I think when it comes down to it, it I don't know if there might need to be like regulations to this. Like you can only do one, like I guess, uh, name for yourself and mm -hmm. not go out and just keep on pushing out different entities and stuff like that. You're only allowed to do one. I'm sorry. Are you telling a music uh, a label that they can't continue printing money without paying musicians? Is that what I just <laughs> heard you say? I'm going the Spotify route. Um, <laughs> it's even worse. Yeah. It's even worse. <laughs> no, no. It's, you know, it is interesting because there is still someone behind the scenes being creative that way, creating the algorithm to, create this you know new sound but i don't know it's just it's because it's just still so young right now I, I don't know if my opinion's fully out there about this you know who's gonna have an opinion Is this, this guy, guy. <clears throat> uh editor dennis be ready for this <laughs> fuck ai <Okay. laughs> you know uh my whole thing is um there's a there's a time and a place for a tool using ai yeah, as a right. tool mm -hmm. yes. to for graphics and video for movies and right. stuff like that mm -hmm. but if anybody and, and me, like, for instance, I'm a big fan of a lot of different genre stuff. If AI ever creates a movie from script to film to distribution, right, where it's Captain Kirk picks up Superman and they go back to the 1800s <laughs> to see the Lone Ranger, I'm not going to go see that shit. You know, I have absolutely no interest in seeing something that is not made by a human gotcha, that yeah. that's created right. mm -hmm. by a human. I want I want the community. I want I want people to be able to express themselves through their art. I don't need a computer creating a thing. And I know that I'm going to be one of the first people on the list when our robotic overlords come over. <laughs> They're coming They're, for you, know, buddy. I'm, They're coming I'm, for I'm you. I'm sealing my fate right now. But I want I want real music from mm. real people. If you've got to tweak a little something, if you've got to do a little autocorrect or auto tune, you know, that's mm -hmm. on you as, as a singer, you know, not you as a singer, right. you, you don't need to. <laughs> yeah. this, guy, this guy's awesome. I've corrected uh, my auto before though. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, I want the, I want the real deal. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. So to tweak it just a little bit and sorry about the Millie Vanilli uh, cheap shot there, but it's the same thing. You fall in love with a band. You fall in love with a number of songs. They are your jam. Now you find out. That there's nothing. Then, I, then there. I'm going to sign change up. Any I, no, I'm going to clock out okay. at that point. It's, right. a, it's a conscious decision on mm -hmm. my part. And me as a, as a voiceover person as well, mm -hmm. you know, there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff, and it's kind of like a subtopic, and I'll be yeah, I'll yeah, be brief. Yeah. But it's like I see all these commercials come up uh, on YouTube. Hey, use the use our AI voice replicator because you don't mm -hmm. want to deal with real voice artists because they're trouble. Ooh, they're actors. Wow. Don't deal with all that sort of stuff. I know, and I, I bet I bet everybody here because you got the ear for it. When you hear you're watching a YouTube video yep. and it's yeah, like yep. a, a some kind of explainer video, you know that that's an AI yep. voice yep. that somebody oh, yeah, paid yeah. thirty five bucks for. Fuck that. Yep. No, right. you know, use a real. You can pay somebody thirty five bucks, and you can work with an actor right. who will who will help you create 
a, a, an atmosphere and, and a tone as opposed to just I'm typing in words and they're coming out here. No, no, no. Come on. Let's mm-hmm. do it. And it's just and music. That's a whole nother thing. That's that's creation there. That's not just mm-hmm. voice to text. This is mm-hmm. creation of art. And no, computers don't know that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Morris, back me up on this, will you? <laughs> Show you right. All right. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you <ain't. laughs> okay. Um Yeah, I uh it's kind of it's kind of a tough one because uh it, if it's coming like all of a sudden there's a brand new song that I just completely one hundred percent fall in love with, right? Then I find out there's not a human in there, anywhere near it, right? Mm-hmm. They literally came up with this thing and just it it was spit out so much of this artificial music, if you will, and then one of them kind of stuck and stuck mm-hmm. with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know, I can't like, I, I can't unlike what I, what I like. So I won't even, I won't try to do that, but, uh, I won't be fooled again. <laughs> <laughs> they won't get a dime on my money. I won't go s- buy their, you whatever go you buy the now or you won't, yeah. Yeah, won't, there's no one to see in concert. Um, and I, and I think it's the kind of thing that no matter how good they get at that, and, and believe me, they're trying to do something like that. It'll only get so far. They won't be able to get the, the return. Yeah. Uh, that, that they hope they're going to get out of it and it'll 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 die out it'll find it, it may find it may settle into its own place you know you've heard about these the, like one man bands and stuff that stuff's cool but there's a like steve was saying there's a human behind that one right yeah no matter right. what it is yeah. you know mm-hmm. um i think it'll, it'll it'll settle into its own place you know mm-hmm. may, maybe they'll use it for i hate to say you know for scoring movies because there's humans behind that and, yeah. and that stuff's really important mm-hmm. but that's probably where it'll probably do its best in that in that realm, I think. Well, the movie studios, I'll tell you, the movie studios will be happy when they don't have to pay an actor right. and a writer yeah. right. and, and a crew. You know, and that was a big thing. A little transition here uh, during the strikes. It was like you've got yeah. people that are working on the crew that are going actors. Come on. We're, we got to go to work. Mm-hmm. You know what? If AI replaces the actors, they're going to replace you, too. They're mm-hmm. not going to need mm-hmm. people on the crew. They're not going to need people right. at craft services. They're not going to need makeup people. So all you motherfuckers got to just sort of. Mm-hmm. Let's all stick yep. together here because yep. we're we're fighting for humanity here. Right. You know, yep. we're all John Connor at this point. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, wow. I, I feel like if it's just one song, like a banger, I feel like, all right, it's kind of like a, the old school one hit wonder mentality. Like a novelty. Yeah. Yeah. Like you'll permit one. Like, okay, I'll let it slide. Because how many songs? Mm, bop. Yeah, in the last <laughs> few decades, we all like, but it's just the, the artist is a one hit wonder and we just move on with our day. I'm with you. Like, if it's, I find out it's AI and I'm like, okay, I'm I'm with you, Stephen. I'll like, okay, I'll cut it out. I'll move on. I'll, all right, I'll enjoy for what it is, but then I'll move on. I'm not going to support it. Yeah. Um, But... I just I'm curious though, just big picture. I wonder how many artists would use AI if they're in the middle of like a, a writer's like fog, like that they hit like a, a speed mm. bump. Yeah. And would they use AI to get them over that hump? Well, he was saying like a tool. And I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I mean I, I can't think of how to word something and I'll ask Chat GPT and go, How would you phrase this? Yeah. To shake the cobwebs. Yeah. But I'm still writing. There's it. still a human behind the keyboard. Yeah. yeah. Now do you want them Uh-oh. to now, if oh. for that artist, <laughs> do you want them to publicly state that or should they keep it a secret? Ooh. Well, it depends on how much. I mean, me, if I'm just getting a prompt for how to write a description, I don't yeah. think I need to state that. OK. But then again, I also wouldn't put something into the world and take credit for it if it was created by something artificial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that leads into my point. Right. Stateland Empire recently did a video with um, AI because mm-hmm. it was an experiment and they put it in out there in the world and said, we made a choice to experiment with AI to see what it was, mm-hmm. to see what it could create. I had a long conversation with Scott Proctor, the bass player, on how he did that. And he said he really guided it because it would spit out something on the video and he was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. And so he would redo it. It was a lot of working with AI to get the product that they wanted. And to be fair, the video is beautiful. Is it's that, absolutely it's like an collaborator. Is that true yeah. a- AI then? I mean, my, that, my thought of AI area. is this thing is actually right. just all on its own. Right. Assisted. Sure. But, if, but that if, is if, almost in the use of a tool. Yeah, like, yes, he, AI just, did spit it out in the world, but Scott was crafting yeah, it so in the whole that's, way. That's yeah. a Scott production in my mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. And also keep in mind the last Beatles song. That was yeah. because oh, right. AI yeah. was a thing that they right. were able to extract. Well, again, that. it was a tool. And, right. and we're yeah. able yeah. to use cool. those tools to do amazing things like yeah. extract vocals. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we're okay with it being used as a tool as yeah. long as a human it's is not touching the, it. It's not, yeah. It can't be the thing. It can't yeah. just right. exist on its Yeah, own. John Lennon right. wrote that song. Right. AI didn't write yeah. it. Right. Right. That's right. Stateline Empire, right. though, they wrote the song. It's their music. They've guided their ideas in the video. But it ultimately created the art. Is that okay? I think it's okay. I think it's interesting. Yes, I do. What about... 
I'm curious, okay, how many bands we like who release special box editions of their albums and they're like, oh, here's some unreleased demos or rough tracks and stuff. Kind of with the Beatles thing. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, the Beatles, they took that rough cut of John mm-hmm. Lennon. Mm-hmm. We're able to make a song out of it. So I wonder now, like, bands like Nirvana, because I have, like, a box mm-hmm. set of, like, demos and stuff. Could they use that to take Kurt Cobain's vocals and then make updated songs out of it? Mm-hmm. That sounds clear, clean. I mean, hell, could Chris Novoselic and Dave Grohl go in the studio and take this updated, fresh, new, hypothetically speaking, vocal track of, the, of, of Kurt Cobain that AI was able to, to get for them and then could these artists going back to earlier talking about bands who have art, or who have singers who are no longer with us mm-hmm. can they make more music out of it I I'm not know. mad at that I mean again if you're using a tool to extract you know or to to, to sharpen a human art you know or to do something you weren't able to do 20 years ago mm-hmm. that's a different conversation and not using AI that's to right. recreate their voice or synthesize right. their voice yes. and imitate their voice yeah exactly not, that wouldn't be cool right mm-hmm. right right, right. But that's along the lines of your Cartman yeah. singing, whatever. Yeah, yeah, if you can, stuff. yeah, I mean, I, you know, my kid called up Frank Sinatra singing a Weezer song and it didn't sound like Frank Sinatra much, but one day it will. Yeah. yeah. And then you have to ask like, you yeah. know, like, like, where does that line move? I think that's you know? the synthesized part that I was talking about that, that I, I wouldn't be cool with that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, well, you know, I actually, found a way to totally mimic. Right. Frank Sinatra's yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was it was a thing a handful of years ago when, uh, you know, Nat King Cole and his daughter sang yeah. a song mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. Yeah. where you take something that from here cool. and you take cool. something from here and you put it together. Yeah, or, or Cindy Lauper with Frank Sinatra yeah. kind yeah, of thing, yeah. you know. You know, even that I have a little bit of a an issue with mm. because that's, you know, Frank never signed up for that. Mm, you know, and you and you point. can kind of you can kind of tell that mm-hmm. you know here's Frank doing his thing, and then Cindy Lauper's kind of like jumping in and putting her little stuff in there. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, wait, whoa, are you telling me that Frank uh, that Fred Astaire didn't want to dance with a vacuum cleaner? I mean, <laughs> no, actually, he wrote that in his will that he wanted to. He was he was okay with that. But that's so. kind of scary. You can mess with someone's legacy. Yep. That's it. it. Yeah. That's exactly mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So a lot to chew on. What do you think? I mean, obviously, we're all falling on different places in this very gray debate, but we want to hear from you. Thank you very much, everybody. Yep. We'll be back. <laughs>